I started with this one and it was one of those, I hit the current and I couldn't pass through. So my intention is to finish the run and go back and do the last five miles. And it's kind of one of those, I, I want to finish things I start and I don't want 99% of the Uberman course. I want 100% of it. So I wanted to ask you, when I finished the, uh, the climb up to the Whitney Fortal, if I head straight down to LA, get on a boat, and get the first good tide going out where I can swim into Terranea, um, if that would be considered an official Uberman, uh, covering 100% of the course under my own power, Since I've known Rob, he's finished every big event that I've been a part of. Make sure I get through the swim. Like it would feel, it would feel really, uh, the swim kind of haunted me for a while and then I got over it and I, I, I decided to get over it. I'm just gonna go as long and as steady as I can and trust the results of that. Uberman is the most ultimate Ultra race, 21 mile swim, 400 mile bike, 135 mile run. You're going from shark infested waters where you're swimming at night to then running through the desert at over 100 degrees to um, one of the highest mountains in the US. It's, it is the true challenge. Okay, here he goes. In order to complete such a challenge, a huge logistics challenge, so you need to have a network of friends and family that want to support you. You can't do this on your own, so it's all about co-creating and collaborating around a solution. And then having the foresight to have multi-years worth of training to lead up to this, it's not something you can just decide to do three months ahead of time, so you have to have a lot of foresight you have to have a lot of planning. And you have to have the motivation to keep going and maintain that consistency. And then once you're in it, it's the mental challenge for sure. You know, how do you sustain that level of effort through some of the most intense conditions you'll ever put your body through and have that vision and have that commitment to and drive to succeed. Well, that was a rough start. You know, we had a lot of lot of moving water. He's gone well over 12 hours now. We're only just past midway. He may well go another 12 hours. So we started in darkness. We're going to end in darkness tonight. After almost 24 hours of swimming, Rob made the, the really tough decision to um, think longer term. He showed a true anti-fragile mentality by embracing the stress, um, really taking it on and making the right decision to prolong his race and enable him to go on to do the 400 mile bike and 135 mile run. Really this was a huge team effort. Um, it required everyone to adapt together, adapt with purpose, challenge the limits, and really come together to ensure that Rob could achieve his goal of um, finishing the, this race. Rob is, I never understood it, but he, his whole life mission is to help other people fulfill their potential. And so the things that stop us, the systems or the injustices that hold us back, he deeply cares about those things. He's a very empathetic person. And so I think this is him showing the world, this is something he can do is use his endurance ability, but also to inspire other people to use what they can do to make an impact and do something in their community. I think it'd be impossible to complete Uberman without 
having the inspiration and passion and the desire to be powered from within. And you're not gonna get several days into this race without having that in, internal drive to overcome it. And you also have to have instilled that vision in your micro group around you to ensure that no matter what you're going through, they're always there for you and they'll provide that resilient infrastructure by which you operate and need to, to successfully succeed. And we see the same with distributed energy systems and microgrids, is it really provides the, the customer who needs that energy at the endpoint and their business is absolutely reliant on it to have that energy independence and know that regardless of what is going on around them, they'll absolutely be able to operate, they'll know what it's gonna cost them, and they'll be able to drive the sustainable outcomes for society in the process by reducing their emissions and bringing cleaner energy for their assets. Yeah, the value of having a team and a support network is that regardless of who you are, how good you think you are, how well you think you've um, train to get to this point, it's impossible to endure an event like this on your own. Let's get it done. All right. Smooth and steady, steady, steady. You down it, and then I go back to him. Safety first. And then once you're in it, you absolutely need a team that believes in you, that is supportive of you, that can coordinate and manage all the, all all the challenges that you're gonna face ahead of time and empower you to drive towards your vision and goal without necessarily being distracted. And for us at Vector, it's just like the marketplace platform that we're building. A little bit worried about one of the ankles. Uh, so you might keep an eye on that, get that taped up before it swells. How's he been eating? Not Is he getting ton. calories? I feel in? like he's not eating enough. That's just my- I feel like he's not drinking enough Third either. party observation. Um, I would say try to stuff him as much as possible. Rob's going to hit, um, he's going to climb this mountain and depending on when he hits Furnace Creek, we'll have a decision point of whether we want to rest him or push him through. Uh, you can't sleep in a 125 degree car in the middle of Death Valley, so it'd be good to get him going quickly if possible. Um, but if he really needs to sleep, it'd be better to do that early. Did it. The final leg of Uber Man. There's something amazing about ultra endurance sports. It's it's so difficult to, to go through the highs and lows, the ups and downs, but it, it really makes a significant difference when you're working with uh, organizations and groups, you know, helping make a difference. It's not some vague concept that doesn't happen. It happens all around us. For me, raising money and awareness for this is more than just an idealistic thing that's that's out there. And Dan, I wanted to send you this video, Dan Berku. Um, I started with this one, and it was one of those, I hit the current and I couldn't pass through. So my intention is to finish the run and go back and do the last five miles. Should I mix one up? Let me mix one up with the heat here. Rob, absolutely exclamation mark. I'll be there with you on the boat in a kayak. The finish will count and I will have the hammer ready. Please stop your clock when you reach Mount Whitney portal trailhead and restart when you hit the water. Keep going, Dan Burku. We're back in the race. All right. Uh, feels pretty incredible to almost be done with the Uberman event. It's coming up. It's great to spend the last couple of miles walking with my wife and looking forward to touching the sign, stopping the clock, and then jumping back in the water tomorrow, finishing out the last few miles of the swim. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.
This isn't too dissimilar from how we position Vector to work with our customers. We don't expect them to go off and do all this on their own. We're here for them, we're in the trenches with them, we want to collaborate with them, and we want to provide them the best software to ensure that they have the right people within their network to go and deploy exactly what it is that they set out to achieve. To challenge one's limits really ensures you're constantly developing as an individual. and. It's not until you put yourself in these uncomfortable situations that you realize truly who you are and what you're capable of. Finding the other side of your limits. Awesome. Congratulations on your longest run. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and that opens up a world of opportunity. Today there are blockages, there are roadblocks in how we develop and deploy distributed energy systems. And really Vector is opening up the opportunity for people to see what's possible and do it together uh, to drive the right outcomes for all.